all right my friends welcome back the older man is back yes today we're gonna do something a little different so here's how it all started there's been a lot of people who've been asking me to go live why don't you go live like mr kevin samuels and it has been something that i've been thinking about because you know because the channel is growing and i need to take it to the next level so I decided, let me go back and look at some of Mr. Kevin Samuel's shows because that's what everybody's telling me. Oh, you should do it like Mr. Kevin Samuel's. And I'm like, oh, I know I haven't seen many of his shows. So for the last three days, I've been binge watching a lot of his call in shows. Listen, I don't mind doing the shows, but the, the big difference is the time difference between Dubai and the US. And when's the best time to actually get people? on air that would want to call in you know i don't want to be sitting there like an idiot waiting for people and no one comes <laughs> but but the point is because everybody's sleeping you know or everybody's at work you know there's a nine hours to ten hours difference between dubai and the u.s so you got to understand the dilemma i'm dealing with but with that said, I, w I also wanted to compare myself to how I would respond to questions from, you know, women and how he responded versus how I would respond. OK, so today what I'm going to do is we're going to go through a call and I'm going to break it down on how he responded and how I respond. So with that said, guys, this is going to be an interesting this one is going to be exciting. All right. Listen, subscribe, come on, do your thing, guys. Hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell. If you have a quick question, get me over on Instagram, ask your questions there, and I promise you I will respond by a voice message, okay? And of course, if you want to book a call privately, get me over on askanolderman.com and book a session. Very reasonable. All right, with that said, let's get into this call with Mr. Samuels to see if the older man would answer the questions like he would. All right, let's have some fun. Good, how old are you? 32. All right, what's your question, comment, or concern? Um, my question is basically, I am not, well, this is basically a statement first. I'm not looking for a high value man. Um, I just never been picky. I've never- Get my likes up, people. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for someone that makes me happy and I can make them happy. Um, it's, called, it's called a canine or a feline. Which one do you <laughs> want? Um, people take work. Buy a dog. <laughs> I know I I mean I'm gonna ask you I some said, questions. Do you have any children? Yes, yes I do. How many? Yes, I, do. I have two little girls. Both by the same man? Yes. How long were you guys together? Mm, probably about three years. Why didn't you guys get married? Um he wants to be with me. Um, but I it was <laughs> <laughs> he's hard he came straight out he came straight out of the gate which is actually what makes his show exciting i don't have that natural ability to just freaking i tend to be a little bit more tactful you know so this is something that i always think about ah, will i will it will i am i that entertaining i don't know well, let's 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 continue anyway i mean i'm gonna ask you I some said, questions do you have any children yes i do how many? Yes, I, I have two little girls. Both by the same man? Yes. How long were you guys together? Mm, probably about three years. Why didn't you guys get married? Um, he wants to be with me, um, but I it was very toxic. It's it just didn't work out. What? I was I was really young. What? <laughs> I was really young. Um, no, why I didn't bet. you get married? Why didn't he wanted to marry you, but you you had his babies, but you didn't want to marry him? Yes, because of uh -huh. how he treated me. Um, oh, you, treat, uh, you, you mean before he shot up the club and you had his babies? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. See, I find it funny 
that you want to be have somebody that's going to be so nice to you, make you happy, you make them happy, that you let a guy impregnate you twice and he wants to marry you, be yet you running out the door. Me, me. Yeah, and that's the thing. At this point, I would just be educating her. The reality of it is, is that you literally gave away the most precious thing any woman possesses, her womb. The, the problem we have in today's modern society is that women put no value behind their womb. They literally incubate life, bring life into this world. But yet, they spend more time picking out a pair of shoes, picking out a dress, a wig, a weave, than they do looking at the man that's going to shoot, shoot up inside their club and, and impregnate them. It drives me insane listening to that. So I would come back at her pretty harsh at this point. But let's go. I don't want to be with him because he doesn't make me happy. Uh, he did, he did. Listen, 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 listen. You ready? Ready? How old are you again? It's 32. I don't give a shit if you're happy. You a mama. Twice. The world does not need to suffer you. You decided to lay down and have one, two different children. Happiness ain't on the menu at the restaurant you're eating at. All right. I would have said, okay, what do you mean by happy? I would ask. I, I need to dig deeper into that. Because women have this opinion on happiness that it's such a broad way of looking at an emotion, right? What is it that you're not happy about? This is where I would dig. And, and I say this because last night I had a gentleman who called in and he's stressed out because his wife is suffering from what she called postpartum depression. You know, she's just insufferable after she's had the child. Now, of course, women's hormones are just constantly raging after this. I would want to dig deeper into the female's emotional state, find out more about when this started, this unhappiness started. I would want to know more about that and then ask her to approach it from that perspective instead of just saying, ah, oh, you don't believe, you don't have, you know, to hell with your happiness. What, what do you say? French toast your happiness. To me, that's harsh because we don't know what's going through this woman's head. In a sense, he's right, but we need to understand why is this woman feeling the way she feels, regardless of how many kids she's had. It's an emotional state. She seems like a pretty reasonable woman so far. She's not belligerent. She's not aggressive. You know, she seems just from her, her tone, I feel pain in her tone. Just listen to her tone. Listen to how uh, it's coming more from a, a place like this and not a place like, hey, 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 hey. not from there. He's not, he's not, he, no, it's coming more. If you listen to the undertones of her voice, you can hear that there's something painful occurring with her. And so I tend to look at all of these things when I'm talking to people. Okay, let's proceed. Let me know what you think, though. Am I right? Duty, responsibility, and honor are. The man wants to be with you. Be happy after you do your duty. So you're saying... I said exactly it, what I'm saying. French toast your happiness. Make a family with the man you made babies with. And that's exactly what I would tell her. She really don't have much choice. Because if you have given your womb to this man, that's it. In today's date and market, and I think this video was done in uh, September 2021. Things have gotten progressively worse. It hasn't changed since I've been listening to a lot of his videos. Since I've been listening to some of his videos from back then, things have gotten worse, guys, just so you know. You know, but he's right. She really don't have much choice getting back into the dating market. And he'll explain why. Happy? Right. Happy? Right. Now, before she cries, understand them. She said the man wants to marry her. I just, it's like, I, I listen to you, I, I watch you all the time, and I think about it all the time, like, should I just stay with him? Should I just, at this point, it's like I just have to settle 
because you have to do what? Like you settle? Yeah, because at this point, like you say, I watch you all the time. So I know you're saying like you're 32, you have two children. It's like it's over for you. You know, I hear you say that all the time. Settle like, for the man you decided to have. You made a conscious decision to have two children with the man. So let's play it. I would have, I would have lost it a little bit when you say settle, settle. You are, are you, are you insane? You settled for the man the second you decided to let him shoot up inside you without adamant or proper protection. And you never settle once, you settle twice. And now you want somebody to feel sorry for you because you're not happy. And now you're coming about, oh, I should settle. No, my dear, you settled twice already. Wow. The, the, it's amazing how women can just do whatever they want and expect life to just forgive them. Just wipe this, wipe the slate clean and they should be able to start over. No man ever thinks, never, never, men never thinks like this. So ladies, when you're listening to these type of shows, you got to understand the reality of life. You don't deserve second chances. You don't get to start over. You don't get to reboot. When you bring a child into the world, there is no rebooting. That shit is permanent. It's the same thing if a man screwed up, broke the law, end up in prison. That record goes with him for life for life and it will continue to be a black mark on his life it's the same thing that occurs when a woman do something like this yeah that's how i would basically tell her <laughs> for all my critics and detractors are going to say she's about to cry he's saying yeah, okay let's play it the opposite way 54 percent of black men are single and childless 61 percent in the middle class you're looking for a stepfather 30 percent of men are already married 16% of men are responsible for 80% of the children. So you'd be looking for a man in that 54%, a stepfather, a man with no children. Why should a man who is not childless come take on another man's two daughters? Well, I've Listen, always two, stated... two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And, the, and, and that father wants to be with you his, the father of his children wants to be with you, so that man is going to have some feelings. Do you understand the situation that a man would be stepping into? He'd be going into a situation with two children who are females with an active father who still wants to be with the mother of the children. Do you want to That would be a nightmare for any man because that father will continue to be hitting on that woman. Continue. It wouldn't be, oh, I need to go over to my baby daddy house and drop off the kids. That man would be con calling going, all right, how, wh why are you over there for an hour? You've been over there for too long. What, what, what's going on? Where are you at that? It would be a constant stressful nightmare for any man who takes on her two kids with a man who still loves her and want to be with her. Because I, we know men. We know men. That man won't give up. Do you want to have any more children? I really, I really don't. And that's the, Thank what you. I was going to say. The man doesn't what even get gonna... any kids. <laughs> no, I was, I was going to, what I was going to say, I don't. But if I find someone that makes me happy, I don't mind having. Make your damn children. self happy, ma'am. Happiness is not what, happiness is not. Uh, hear me and hear me well, ladies. My critics and detractors, it is not a man's job to make you happy. It is not a husband's job to make you happy. That is a lie from the pit of hell and I rebuke it. I have to add on to what he just said. It is not his responsibility to make you unhappy though. That means if he, you're coming home and he is abusing you, he's contributing to your unhappiness. The man isn't allowed to do that. So I have to ask her, is he contributing to your unhappiness? It's not his job to make you happy. Protect, provide, go out, get your job done, take care of your kids, take care of your wife, take care of your home. That's the man's job. 
but it's not his job to come home to abuse her. And, and because I don't think Mr. Samuels are, is asking the correct questions in this respect. I think that if we want to be fair to the woman, he needs to ask deeper questions on what is happening in your home to make you unhappy. That is essential. I would want to know that as, as, a, as a host of a show. I would want to know what is it Tell me, what is it that making you unhappy with this relationship? He's hard on her for a reason. I understand that he's trying to make her realize that you don't want to get back out here in the streets because it's he's looking out for the next man. I would be looking out for the next man, but I also want to make sure that she can be enlightened and woke up and wake her up to realize that, hey, it's not the man's job to make you happy, but... I want to know if he's making you unhappy so that we can book a call or have him call in to freaking get to, to fix him to get his head in order as well. So this is how I would approach it. Let me know. Let me know, guys, if I'm if I'm wrong. Come on, guys, give me some thumbs up. Hit the like button so that I can actually get some love from the algorithm. All right, let's finish it up. I rebuke, I rebuke. It is not our job. That is not our job description. It is our job. To protect, provide, prophesy, teach. It is not our job to make you happy. You want to be happy? Eat a chocolate chip cookie. Watch a movie. Uh, pet a puppy. It is not our job to make you happy. So what? What is your? What are y'all's job? I just told you, protection, provision. But that makes you happy. Protection. That makes me happy. No. Happiness comes from within. Yeah, that too. This is why y'all need to stop having babies because that's the problem. You had kids and now it is forever going to change how you come into the marketplace. It reduces your sexual marketplace value. And it is difficult, if not impossible, to go out and expect a man to come and be a husband to you a stepfather to two children have to get out here and fight the world and turn around and make you happy what in the hell are you bringing to that man to overcome all of that that he can't get from a single childless woman and what if i what if i want uh -uh. To the see you answer a question with the question is disingenuous class how does that work they never want to answer the question that's difficult they want to Either go past it or answer a question. Yes, I would have stopped her there for sure. Because this is the problem that women do not address. They will not take accountability. They don't want to hear about what they have to do. And in this respect, then I would start challenging. Why is it that it's all about you? It seems to me, if she didn't respond to this questions right away, is that this is all about her. So there's something else there that she has to talk about when it comes to the relationship. She's either doing something to trigger this man that makes him unhappy, that makes him respond to her, or he has placed some boundaries on her, keeping her off the street, keeping her out of trouble, that is making her feel confined. These are always the two biggest issues. And of course, we have to have the monetary part of it as well. He's probably not making enough money and making sure that she's taken care of. Those are usually the three things, basically. Please answer my question. What are you bringing to a single childless man that he cannot get from a woman who is single and childless? I'm bringing me. I'm bringing... <sighs> I mean, I can have more kids. What can you bring to a man that he wants that you haven't already given to another man? But what if he loves me? Like, what if see, he... See, wants see, guys, here we go again, class. Here we go again, class. When you don't answer a question or when you answer a question with the question, it is disingenuous and bad faith. I'm going to teach this one way or another. You refuse to answer the hard question because the answer is nothing. 
What do you have to give to a man that he wants that you have not already given to another man? That he cannot get from another woman who is childless. That's how I would finish that. And the answer is nothing. Still nothing. <laughs> Still nothing. I can be submissive. I could be cooperative. You've not been submissive or cooperative with another man? <laughs> See? This is what it, what it means to overvalue yourself. The answer is, I don't have anything to give to a man that he wants that I have not already given to another man. You've given the most valuable thing you can ever give to a man, your womb. Right. So, ma'am, when I say it's over, it's because you've chosen. Mm -hmm. Take your prize and go home. Okay. Why should a man overlook a single childless woman who he can start his own family with? Who can focus on him solely? Your man would never get you alone. Everything would have to be, you guys go out to eat dinner, it's going to be four. Every place you live, you got to have room enough for two kids. There is never a single version of you. This is what having kids outside of wedlock does. And we need to show this more often. So when you ladies choose to do this, you understand everything you're signing up for. And at the end of the day, for my people who think I'm being harsh, remember her child's father wants to be with her. She doesn't want to be with him because he doesn't make her happy. But it's because he is unfaithful. And you, okay, you want, want to go down that path? I'll go down that path with you. You want to go down that path? How many times have you cheated on him? Never cheated on him. Uh-huh. How many male friends do you have? I don't have any male friends. You on social media? Yes, I have a social media. Uh-huh. So if you turned over, if you turned your your smartphone and your, in, and your inboxes all over to him, there'd be no problem. There'll all be no your problem. media. Okay. There'll be no problem. I don't. He I cheats. Have, and when was the last time he cheated? He cheated. Mm -hmm. Um, around the time when I had my had my babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd you? But we were never. We're, how'd you, after, how'd you find out I, about it? How'd you find out about it? Well, you know, I found out about it by women calling my phone. And, no, 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 no. Uh, I want to be clear. The woman he was having sex with called your phone. Yes. Multiple I, women were calling. Okay. Why? Um, they were calling me, telling me that he was cheating, that uh, they were pregnant as well. Um, you know. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> so you're saying you're dealing with a man who was dealing with women who was just calling you up saying, oh, yeah, by the way, your baby daddy, he got me pregnant too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why sixteen percent of the that's why eighty percent of our kids come from uh sixteen percent of men. Man, I, I hate to be I'm gonna be honest, that's what you sign up for. Yeah. And this is what I would tell her as well. This is the problem. You women are perfectly okay with finding Pookie and Ray Ray. This Pookie wants to marry her, but she won't do it. Because what? He has all the women out there. But this is what she wanted. This is this is the guy she decides to give her womb to. Like I said earlier, you women put more effort into picking out the right weave, the right dress, the right outfit, the right everything than you do finding the right man to shoot up your womb or to impregnate you. This is the problem. You don't care if it's Pookie or Ray Ray. He makes you feel good. And then when real life sits in, motherhood and he can't protect and provide like he should oh no you want to go and find another good man to take care of you you need another trick a simp the white knight to come in to save you it's insane watching this behavior in the black community let's hear what else she has to say and i want you to understand i'm coming at it from the single and childless 54 percent of men i want you to hear how this would sound to them yeah give me that job 
let me go. I want that job. I want to sign up for her and all that drama and all that trauma. Did he cheat on you after you had your first child? Yes. Then why'd you have a second? Hmm. This is why he's the GOAT. This is why he's the GOAT. He can identify these women a mile away. I grew up with these type of women. It's insane watching that shit. You think this is only in America? Oh, you check the Caribbean. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. It's rough. It's rough in the Caribbean. Every Caribbean island have the same bloody problem with women like this. Don't think this is an American problem alone. Yep. You signed up for it. And so you're saying... I'm saying, ma'am, did you not? Did you not? With him. Did he? Did you not, though? Before, So I'm saying, did you not? Did he... <laughs> He showed you who he was and you laid down and made another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. And now mm -hmm. I want to get out of the situation. I don't want to. Okay. I stepped into a lion's den. I got my two legs eaten and chewed off. And now I want to try to get out. I want someone to come in and drag me out. The lions are still there. I need someone to come in to drag my ass out. Who's going to do it? Which white knight's going to come in with his spear to drag her out of there? Won't be my ass, I can tell you. It won't be. I would not recommend any man to do it. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, get out of it, but stay by yourself. Okay, well. And now mm -hmm. I want to get out of the situation. I don't. Wanna okay, well, get out of it, but stay by yourself. Don't, so don't be. So if I get out of the situation, I don't. You get no him. other man. I'm, I'm, okay. You get no other man. You can have sex, but you don't get a husband. I'm going to just what be real. I... You can have sex, don't get a husband. You don't get no relationship. Not when no man is worth nothing. Mm, 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 mm. A man is worth nothing ain't going to be involved in all this. Be like, what the hell? Because, see, you don't get any better than your baby daddy. So your baby daddy, if you, you weren't going to marry your baby daddy, you don't get to go up in value with age and use. You don't get to go up in value with reduce with reduced sexual marketplace value. That's why my critics and detractors don't like me because. And that's the reality. Every man, I'm telling you, every man is going to look at your past. Growing up, it was just natural. I, I, you know, I always wanted to know. Well, who she been with? Who she been with? That is just a standard question. Who's her ex? Oh, who she been with? Who she been around? Who she's been with? It's not only how many times. It's who she's been with. Oh, she been with that, and yeah, boss, hard taste in men. No, 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 not going there. You'll hit it, but you'll quit it. Ladies, you got to understand this. You think that that little hole is golden and it's going to trap a man, but it, it's not enough. Not enough to trap a better man. That's the difference. Yes, you could name one or two cases of it, but 99% of the time, you don't. And of course, all of you are going on that 1% chance of it happening, because that's how you all live your life in a delusional state. Oh, I'm going to get him. I can get him. I can get him. And all of a sudden, you're just sitting on the shelf, rotting away. Keep telling the truth and be consistent. You don't get to all of a sudden get Prince Charming after you've been fucking around with a toad. That's what you got. Because that but man has to look, listen, because the new man has to look and say, wait a minute, I'm an upgrade from, from this joker. He got two kids and you don't even want to have no babies unless he makes you happy. And you're 30 <laughs> what? 30 what? One, Ooh, two? 32. Right, right. You're almost a geriatric pregnancy anyway. Let's be real. You don't want to have no more babies because you got your hands full. So this man don't even get his own kids. He got to take care of two kids from a, from a toad and deal with all this toad mess. Uh, and I haven't even asked this question. How tall are you? Ooh, okay. Um, I am five six. Dress size? Dress size twelve. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? I weigh one ninety eight. And you know, just like I know. <laughs> See. But I'm not looking for a high-value man. Doesn't matter, ma'am. See this, and, and I want to go back to the the young lady who was 29 years old. Remember, young lady, when I said your competition, y'all all think that average black men need to settle for overweight women. 
No, no. And that's what I was just about to say. These women know that they're not the prize, but yet they want men, just not normal men, to settle for the bottom of the freaking barrel. The bottom of the barrel. Your average dude who works his ass off, make his good money, come home, take care of another man's two kids with a freaking tub of lard woman. Yeah, I, I call it out, man. Okay? Who has no discipline. She has no pussy discipline, no womb discipline, and she does not take care of herself physically. He got to come home to that, to make that happy. Add that shit to it. He has to make her happy with her fat self. He has to make her in another man's two freaking seeds happy. But because he's an average guy, that's what he deserves. I don't want any high value man. As if she could get a freaking high value man. It, it drives me insane. So anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to finish it up there. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm ready <laughs> to go live. All right. Because this year for sure, I think I'm going to definitely go live. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Please hit the subscription button, book a chat, and let's connect, my friends. All right. So until next time, remember, whenever in doubt, always, always ask an older man. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.